Ever wondered why your muscles grow after a heavy workout? It's not just about lifting weights and breaking a sweat. There's a fascinating science behind it all. A process known as muscle hypertrophy that every bodybuilder and fitness enthusiast should be familiar with. It's about the transformation that happens within your body, the microscopic changes that translate into visible gains. Intrigued? Good. In the next few minutes we'll unravel the science behind muscle growth. So, stay tuned and let's dive into the world of muscle hypertrophy together. Understanding muscle hypertrophy isn't rocket science. Let's dive right into it. Muscle hypertrophy in simple terms, is the process by which your muscles grow in size. This happens when the fibers of the muscles sustain damage or injury. The body repairs damaged fibers by fusing them, which increases the mass and size of the muscles. Now, you're probably wondering, how does exercise come into play? Well, when you exercise, especially resistance training like weightlifting, you cause damage to the muscle fibers. This is a good kind of damage, mind you. It's this damage that triggers the body to repair the muscles, and in doing so, causes them to grow. But exercise alone isn't enough. Nutrition plays an equally significant role. Imagine trying to build a house without bricks. It's the same with your muscles. They need the right building blocks, and those come from the food you eat. Proteins are particularly important, as they are the primary building blocks of muscle tissue. Carbohydrates, too, are crucial. They provide the energy needed for your workout. Without adequate carbs, your body might start breaking down muscle tissue for energy, and we definitely don't want that. Now, onto the third pillar, rest. You might think that more exercise means more muscle growth, but that's not exactly the case. Rest is just as important as exercise and nutrition. When you rest, your body gets to work repairing and rebuilding your damaged muscle fibers. Without enough rest, you're not giving your body the time it needs to do this important work. So, in a nutshell, muscle hypertrophy involves a delicate balance of exercise, nutrition, and rest. It's about stressing your muscles through exercise, feeding them with the right nutrients, and then giving them enough time to repair and grow. And there you have it. The science of muscle hypertrophy simplified. It's not as complicated as it sounds, is it? Just remember it's a process that requires time and consistency. No magic pills or quick fixes here, only hard work and dedication. So, in essence, muscle hypertrophy is your body's response to stress from resistance training. You might be wondering how does the body actually build more muscle? Well, the answer lies in the process of protein synthesis. You see, our bodies are constantly in a cycle of breaking down and rebuilding. This is especially true for our muscles. When we exercise, we're not just burning calories or getting pumped, we're actually causing small tears in our muscle fibers. Now don't be alarmed, this is a good thing. These microscopic tears signal to the body that it's time to repair and grow. The body then sends out its repair team, which are essentially proteins. These proteins work like little builders, repairing and rebuilding the damaged muscle fibers. This process is what we call protein synthesis. Now you might be thinking, where do these proteins come from? They come from the food we eat, specifically from dietary protein. Foods like chicken, beef, eggs, and tofu are all great sources of protein. When we digest these foods, our body breaks them down into smaller parts known as amino acids. These amino acids are then reassembled in the body to create the proteins we need for muscle repair and growth. But protein synthesis isn't just about repair, it's also about growth. When the muscles are repaired, they don't just go back to the way they were. They actually get bigger and stronger. This is because the body builds new proteins on top of the old ones, thickening the muscle fibers and leading to muscle growth. This is the process of hypertrophy or muscle enlargement. Protein synthesis is a continuous process. It happens 24-7 even when we're sleeping. That's why it's crucial to get enough protein in your diet and enough rest for your muscles to recover and grow. So the next time you hit the gym, remember that every rep, every set, every drop of sweat is triggering this incredible process of protein synthesis. You're not just lifting weights. You're orchestrating a symphony of biological processes that result in stronger, bigger muscles. Protein synthesis is the key driver behind muscle hypertrophy. However, not everyone's muscles grow at the same rate. Why is that? Well, there are several factors at play here. Let's break them down. First off, genetics. Just like every aspect of your physical appearance, your genes play a crucial role in determining your muscle growth potential. Some people are naturally more muscular while others may need to work a little harder to see the same results. But don't let this discourage you. With the right approach most people can achieve significant muscle growth. Next up age. As we get older our muscle mass naturally begins to decline. This process known as sarcopenia starts around the age of 30. But again don't despair. 
regular strength training and proper nutrition can slow down this process and even reverse it. Speaking of nutrition, diet is another key factor. To grow muscles, your body needs sufficient protein and calories. So if you're not eating enough or not getting the right nutrients, your muscle growth could be compromised. Finally, let's talk about your exercise regimen. The type, intensity, and frequency of your workouts can greatly influence your muscle growth. For maximum hypertrophy, experts recommend a mix of resistance and strength training exercises performed several times a week. So, in a nutshell, your muscle growth is influenced by your genetics, age, diet, and exercise regimen. Understanding these factors can help you optimize your muscle growth. So, what have we learned about muscle hypertrophy? We've delved into the intricate science behind muscle growth, breaking down complex concepts into bite-sized, digestible pieces. We've understood that muscle hypertrophy is more than just lifting heavy weights. It's a fascinating interplay of biological processes. Remember, protein synthesis plays a pivotal role in this process. It's the act of building new proteins that ultimately leads to increased muscle mass. But it doesn't stop there. Various factors influence muscle hypertrophy, from your genetics to your diet, and even your sleep patterns. So whether you're a seasoned bodybuilder or someone just starting their fitness journey, understanding these concepts can help you maximize your gains. It's about working smarter, not just harder. In the end, knowledge is power. The more you understand about your body, the better equipped you'll be to make the most out of your workouts. Muscle hypertrophy is a complex process, but with the right knowledge you can harness it to your advantage.